I figure um, maybe we could take a ride up to uh, up to the mountain. Where? Yeah, that one faces back, so they could they could see you. They could see you on my YouTube channel. What is that this Father's Day ride. Father's Day ride with his daughter, right? Take a little, we take a little cruise. Let's go. We go um, up to the little lookout up in uh, Minnewaska. Take a little cruise, right? All right. All right. We're good for the right. So we're going to go down to this light and make a left. Okay. She wasn't looking, she wasn't looking right. We're gonna make this, we're gonna make this left right here. All right, so it may lean a little bit, but you'd be all right. Hey guys, what's going on? We are out for a Father's Day ride with my youngest little girl before last time when he saw me I had my my uh, oldest with me but this time we're gonna bring my youngest out we're gonna go for a nice easy cruise because this is the first time she's been out on a bike my uh, older daughter likes the raunchy stuff so I figure I'll take her up to the 44 lookout take a nice cruise up there really nice day just gassed the bike up as it was sitting on empty so anyhow uh, yeah so she has my jacket on as you probably could see and I'm a t-shirt I'm t-shirting it right now well safety if I had to choose for safety and survival I'd always choose my kids first before me so Short Shield's been working out great. I hope you guys are having a really awesome Father's Day. I hope you guys got to go spend some time with your dad or uh, any role model who served that special point in your life or uh, was a special role model that helped you to achieve a lot of the goals in life that you wanted to achieve. And, you know, that's something that I always wanted, I always want for my kids, is for them to achieve any goal that they want to achieve in life. And not be afraid to face challenges and conquer challenges and be successful. So, yeah. Anyhow, we uh, went to church earlier, and then tonight we're going to dinner down by the water. You all right? Yeah. Okay. How did how'd that part feel? All right. Yeah, so we went to dinner down by the water, and... Um, I came back and my wife was like, oh, I'm getting dressed. I'm going to go pull weeds. I looked at her like, all right, well, I'm going. I was like, I put my I put my riding pants on. I was like, I'm taking a ride. I'm going to take a motorcycle out. I ain't pulling no weeds today. She's like, oh, you can cut the grass. It's like, it's Sunday. I don't I don't make noise on Sunday. So I said to my youngest daughter, I was like, hey, you want to come with me and we can go out and take a ride. I need to get a mic maybe try to see if I could wire up a mic into into her helmet and get her and get
get some audio with her on there. I know she'd love that. Anyhow, so we're just taking a short cruise. Uh, figured I'd get the two cameras rolling. Maybe tonight I could work on editing that. Ooh, nice cross country bikes there. Drop speed a little bit here. Trying to get her here um, acclimated to the to the turns or the feeling of the turns and basically how to move how to move her her body and such with the feeling of the turns which she's, she's getting there we're getting there but this morning my wife says oh what you want to eat i said pancakes <laughs> I was like, yeah, I want pancakes. I want pancakes. And she's like, oh, you want pancakes? She's like, all right. Well, we had went to Cracker Barrel. And uh, when we were at Cracker Barrel, she bought a box of their pancake mix. And, you know, I didn't know that she actually bought that. But uh, come to find out, yeah, she had bought a box of their pancake mix. So that's what she made this morning. And she, you know, she tasted it. And she was like, oh, man, you know, they really don't they really don't taste the same and I was like yeah but you know they're still good they're still really really good you know I really like them but yeah they do have a different it, it wasn't the taste it was texture that's what it was I don't, I'm not sure exactly what it is they did with them but the texture was a little bit different which was nice you know um, but still I enjoyed them man I'll tell you you know what it was nice to have my wife make me some pancakes and then I started sending out text messages to all friends and family and um, to a lot of you guys. I've still got a few that i got to send out, actually. When we get up to the top of the mountain, I'm going to see if I can send out a couple more. Um, just wishing a few people, um, you know, uh, a happy, you know, a happy Father's Day and wishing them all the best. the road oh, oh wow. still loop around I can loop around if I go to the right hmm. go to the left maybe there's a alternate alternate way I guess. Yeah, so you know, I've been working a lot. Uh, oh man, I've been working like six, well, seven days in a week. I've been working six days, sometimes seven. The way my schedule works, though, it, it's it's kind of weird because we're like off, we work five, off two, work five, off three. So sometimes I might work. The, both of my two days off or I might work two of my three days off so you know that's why I always say you know it's it's kind of weird when I tell somebody yeah I was working you know seven out of my eight days you know and they're like what I'm like yeah it's just the way the schedule is you know it's kind of weird so but yeah I've been working a lot I've been giving out overtime so it's like you know since they're giving out overtime it's like well why not why not take it you know like you may as well better than not taking it and then sitting there wishing that you wishing that you had some so take the money put some aside you know put some of that money aside and, and save it for a rainy day because it's always a rainy day or some kind of a home friggin project or something stupid needs to be done that you got to spend money on you know it's like a friend of mine at work he's from um alabama and, you know we always talk you know he's a brother like me and whatnot you know and uh he's like yeah man you know my grandmama used to say you know he's from the south so you know they they, you know, they they say things a little different he's like you know my grandmama used to say money come and go i was like yeah man you're right just gotta enjoy yourself money come and go 
be here today, gone tomorrow. Who know that better than me? <laughs> you know. She looks like she's doing all right back there. Yeah, eyes is open. That's a good thing. As long as she ain't asleep. I, I gotta figure out a shortcut. You all right? Yeah, you're good, so.